Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me in a new video. So in today's video, I've got a quicker time lapse for you. In the past months, I have uploaded mostly longer tutorials. So now I thought, let's upload a time lapse again. So there you can see the sketch. This is Arabian Stallion, Mikael Say, and he is owned by one of my Facebook followers and her boyfriend. And she has allowed me to use her photo for this drawing. So credits to her for the photograph. And yeah, I really wanted to do a full body horse portrait in pastels because I hadn't done any so far. So I really wanted to do one and record a Patreon tutorial out of it. So I did upload the whole tutorial in real time on Patreon with the line art and the color lists and stuff. So if you're interested in that, check out my Patreon. And then I just got started. I use a Stabilo Carbothello pastel pencils and a few Faber-Castell Pitt pastel pencils on light gray pastel mat. So it's not white, it's very light gray. And I started out with putting some color into the background. I didn't want to leave the background completely empty, but I didn't want to put in a very detailed background either. So I decided to go with light blue because it suits his uh, fur color really well. So I just started out by putting some light blue around the silhouette. And then I started with filling in his behind. So I'm working from left to right because otherwise I'm sure that I am going to smudge everything. So I'm very strict with that. I'm working from left to right. So I started out with layering his bum and then the tail. So for the tail, I used a lot of different layers, a lot of different colors as well. It's easy to just go in with black and white but that will give a very flat effect. So I used blues and browns and uh, purples for the tail and I built that up very carefully. And then moving on to the first hind leg and then to the abdomen. So I start out with putting down all the different colors that I see. You can actually see the reference photo on screen as well. So I put all the colors that I see down first and then I blend it out and then I start adding the depth, the contrast and the details. So that's how I work. And then after doing the abdomen, I filled in the other hind leg. I really love drawing horse legs. They're so bony. There is usually a lot of contrast in the legs. So I love drawing the legs. And then I moved on to the shoulder, which is very masculine. So a lot of different um, textures and shapes in there and a lot of highlights as well. So I saved the highlights for last. So I put in the base layers first, then I put in the darks and then finally I fill in the highlights. So for the highlights, I didn't only use white. I actually didn't really use white in this drawing. I mostly use light pinks and beiges for the highlight and then I moved on to the neck and the head. So as you can see this is pretty fast so let me know in the comments which part of this horse you'd like to see a more in-depth tutorial of so I will pick out some parts of this horse and slow down in the video and upload a tutorial here on YouTube as well. So you can choose which part you'd like to see in the comments below. And actually the head was pretty difficult because there are so many small details in there. So for small details like that, you have to keep your pencils very sharp. For sharpening, I use very simple sharpeners. Basically any sharpener I can find. Usually those very simple metal ones with two holes and those work pretty fine actually. You don't need a fancy pencil sharpener to sharpen your pastel pencils. Mm. But you'll have to make sure that um, the sharpener is new. So as long as it's, as it's not dull, you will be able to sharpen your pastel pencils pretty easily with it. Although it does depend on the brand of the pastel pencils. I feel like the uh, Stipilos and the Pits from Faber-Castell are pretty easily to sharpen. But the Derwent's, for instance, 
I find horrible when it comes to sharpening so keep an eye on that all right so after about 12 hours this drawing was finished I really enjoyed recording the process and I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you're interested in the tutorial there's a link to my patreon in the description also if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and then I want to thank you so much for your support and for watching and for encouraging me to create more tutorials. I've really been enjoying doing the tutorials. So that's a good thing. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.